Hi there, welcome back to the 7th lecture of C++ programming tutorial series. In the previous lesson, we have discussed, the various operators, in C++. Today in this video, we will discuss, the conditional statements, or decision making. Keep watch this video till the end. Conditional statements are used to make decisions based on a given condition. If the condition evaluates to true, a set of statements is executed, otherwise another set of statements is executed. Every programming language provides a structure for decision making. C++ also provides this structure. There are two statements used for decisions in C++ language, are known as the IF statement and IF ELSE statement. The IF keyword is used to execute a statement or block, IF, and only IF, a condition is fulfilled. The IF statement has a simple structure. That is, the above statements mean, if condition is true, then execute the statement or a group of statements. Here the condition is a statement which explains the condition on which a decision will be made. We can understand it from the example that, a Sid, can become the member of the basketball team, if, he has a height more than 6 feet. In this case, the condition will be, if, a Sid's height is greater than 6 feet. A Sid can be a member of team. We have written the condition in English language. Now let's see how we can implement this in terms of variables, operators and C++ statements. In the program, we will write the condition in parentheses, followed by a statement or group of statements to be executed. Let's consider a simple example to explain the if statement. Suppose, we have ages of two students, Say for the time being we have got these ages and variables. These variables are, Amar, age, and Dali, age. Now we say that if the Amar, age is greater than Oli, age, then display the statement Amar is older than Ali. The coding for this program will be as below. The result of this program is, Amar, is older than Ali. We can understand better the, if, statement process with the help of flowcharting. The flowchart for the IF structure is shown in the figure below. Now let's see the usage of relational operators by an example. There are two students Mar and Ali. We take their ages from the user, compare them and tell who is older. In the previous sample program, we have used one IF statement. Now think what happens if the condition in the IF statement is not true that is Amar's age is not greater than Ali's. So to check this condition, another if, statement after the first if, statement is required. Then our program will be as. Now our program decides properly about the ages entered, by the user. We have seen that, the if, structure executes its block of statements only when the condition is true. Otherwise the statements are skipped. The if, else, structure allows the programmer to specify that, a different block of statements is to be executed when the condition is, false. The structure of if, else, selection is as follows. Thus using this, if else, structure we can write the construct of our previous program as. In this construct. The program checks the condition in if statement. If the condition is true, then the line, Amar is older than Ali is printed. Otherwise, if condition is not true, the statement related to else is executed and the message, Amar is younger than Ali is printed. Herein, if else structure an important thing is that the else part is executed for all the cases, conditions, other than the case which is stated in the if condition. Now let's see the usage of if else structure in a simple and easy program example. In this program, take two integer numbers by user and mode first number by second and check the result. 
If the result is 0 then first number is divisible by second, else first number is not divisible by second. Thanks, for watching, thumb up, if you like it, and subscribe, if you want more tutorials.